the Senate Committee on Indian Affairs will come to order. We're having a hearing today on S434, the Blackfeet Water Rights Settlement Act of 2013, and S611, the Sandia Pueblo Settlement Technical Amendment Act. This afternoon, uh, we will be hearing from a variety of witnesses within the administration and uh, various tribes. Obviously, at the core principle of these issues today is tribal self-governance and self-determination and the ability of tribes to exercise jurisdiction over their lands and their resources. Often, legislation is necessary to ensure that tribes can exercise those rights, and this is a story that we all know in the Northwest, because during my time in the Senate, we've passed several transfer bills for the Ho and the Quileute tribes so that they could move out of either tsunami or flood zone areas. And we're currently working on legislation uh, for the Spokane tribe that's passed the Senate several times and passed the House several times, uh, which was a land issue uh, in coordination with the Grand Coulee Dam. So I'm very well aware of the importance of these settlement disputes with tribes and the positive impacts they can have when the settlements come into effect. S434, the Blackfeet Water Rights Settlement Act, would settle a longstanding water dispute between the Blackfeet tribe and the state of Montana and would ratify an agreement that the two parties have reached. Today, the committee will hear from both the tribe and the state on how they came to this agreement and what it means for the state and the tribe and the surrounding communities. We will also hear from Kevin Washburn, Assistant Secretary of Indian Affairs in the Department of Interior, and the department will play an integral role in the negotiation and implementation of these water rights settlements. This bill was introduced by Senator Baucus and Senator Tester, a member of our committee, and I applaud both of them for their uh, hard work on this important legislation and their work with the tribe and the State Department, and uh, hopefully we'll get this signed into law. I look forward to working with both of my colleagues as we move forward uh, on this legislation. The second bill, S611, also deals with the tri a tribal settlement, the Sandillo Pueblo Settlement Technical Amendment Act introduced by Senators Udall and Heinrich, and it's a very straightforward bill. Uh, it, it only has one purpose, which is to finally ac uh, accomplish the transfer of 700 acres of land to the Pueblos of Sandia in New Mexico that was intended to happen when Congress passed the original act in 2013. The act directed the United States Forest Service to transfer 700 acres of land of the Sandia Mountain to the Pueblo of Sandia in exchange for other land and compensation. These Sandia Mountains are of great cultural significance to the Pueblo of Sandia and unfortunately despite the original act and clarifying amendment back in 2009 after 10 years the land transfer has still not been completed. So obviously passage of S611 will finally accomplish what Congress intended six, uh, 10 years ago by clarifying how these lands will be valued and ensuring that the land transfer will occur within 90 days of this passage. So today we'll hear from the Sandia Pueblo on this bill and also the U.S. Forest Service, and I hope that today's testimony will allow us to move forward. 